So there's so many different things that you, you would consider. Um, I would say it always works best when people have volunteered to become a mental health first aider rather than being pushed into it. Because in all honesty, if someone's being forced to attend the training, it's unlikely that they're going to utilise the skills because they don't have the passion and the desire. But even when people volunteer, again, I'd always advise that you've got um, you've got a say in who it is that actually gets put forward. Because sometimes people volunteer themselves for these things, but actually they're really not the right person. Um, and, you know, as you say, everyone being trained before you know it. You, you've, you've got all of these people that have got all of this training. I mean, from a cost perspective, first of all, you know, that's kind of assuming endless budgets to be able to train all these people. Um, but I guess that's not the point of the role. The role is having um, a number of people um, that are trained. And again, just thinking about who your first aiders might be, really consider um, diversity as best as you can but also different levels of the organisation. Some um, organisations think, oh, we'll get all of our managers trained. But believe it or not, I'm sure you will believe it, a lot of people don't want to talk to their manager if they are struggling. They'd rather talk to somebody who's a little bit more anonymous or they might prefer to talk to somebody who's a peer. Um, but saying that, thinking of managers, they're less likely to want to talk to somebody who is perhaps one of their team. So having different people at different levels of the organisation is important, but trying to represent as many different types of people as you can as well across your team of first aiders, I would also say is really important. Really think about, is there somebody for everybody that somebody would think, you know, actually, I could trust that person. I'd really like to go speak to them. So a few things that you'd, you'd consider, but definitely not training, not training everybody um, in mental health first aid.